Good evening, beautiful people. First day of spring, which means it's the first day of spring football. 17 early enrollees, seven transfers, and of course, returning starters like this guy, QB1, Quinn Ewers, was a big topic of discussion for the Longhorns today. But we also discussed a new potential rule change that will affect Steve Sarkeesian's offense. And it all involves this thing. Shout out to Abby for the assist there. Now, I know a lot of parents out there may get triggered because some of their kids may play Fortnite. But I promise you, these are a critical piece of technology that is already used around the NFL. And this year, the player to coach helmet communication is expected to be approved for this college football season. Players will be able to hear their coaches pre-snap from headsets to their helmets. A little different for us, for Quinn and I, this year is my ability to talk to him through the mic. And we, and we started practicing that today. And I think having two years of experience of working together and now having that dialogue uh, through the headset, uh, I think is going to be beneficial for us. It's a lot easier to, to say five words and signal five words, mm -hmm. but yet you can give more, more information and, and you can have some real dialogue to where you can speed up, slow down, and hopefully I can give him some information that, that allows him to play a little bit faster within plays as well. Now, if you're a college football purist or simply don't trust Wi-Fi, Coach Sark is already thinking two steps ahead. We want to teach the foundation of signaling because God forbid the headset goes out in DKR for whatever reason, I still got to get the play into our players. And so we, 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 we want to always want to kind of have contingency plans available. So we still want to teach the foundation of our offense, which is signaling, uh, but yet getting used to the new way of having the ability to communicate to the quarterback. 